Hi everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today I am out uh, on my home patch in the New Forest. Um, it's a beautiful day, the sun's out, we've got warm temperatures, unusually warm for February. Um, it's mid-morning, um, you're thinking, what am I doing out at this time of the day? This is not a good day for landscape photography. Um, the light's pretty harsh even for wildlife photography, but the light is perfect and the temperature is perfect for the animal that I'm looking for today, which is the adder, Britain's only venomous snake. Um, they're quite common, quite widespread here in the New Forest. So today I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about adder and uh, how to look for them. And hopefully, if we find some, how to photograph them. Let's go. So this is the sort of area that I'm looking for today. Um, adders, obviously, like all reptiles, are cold-blooded. Um, they need warmth, they need sunshine. And at this early time of the season, it can be the very best time to find these reptiles because they're just starting to emerge uh, as the temperatures start to warm. Um, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna look for the ideal basking spot. So where we are here is on a south-facing slope of this valley. Um, that faces the sun uh, and the animal's going to be in, in, uh, in perfect sunlight. It's also close to quite thick cover, in this case some large gorse bushes. Um, adders at, at this time of year will never want to stray too far away uh, from their uh, hibernaculum, which is the communal underground shelter that they uh, hibernate in and spend the winter in. So the trick to early season adder photography is if you can find a location of a hibernaculum then it's actually extremely simple because you can keep going back to that area and those snakes, a number of them, will be there in that area and they'll be within a 20-30 metre distance of that. It's only as the summer months come on that they will start to move um, slightly further out away from that hibernaculum when they can um, be comfortable overnight above ground. But at the moment, in February and March, as the uh, snakes first start to emerge, it's far too cold overnight for them to um, be outdoors um, overnight. So, um, so this is the sort of area we're looking for, somewhere in direct sunlight with a slope that allows the snake to get as much of its body into the sunshine as possible, cover close by. So it's just a question now of scouring along this valley um, until we hopefully find um, a spot where uh, some adders are using uh, an area just like this. thought I was onto something there for a minute. I just stumbled across as I was walking through this area, this patch behind me here that you can just see over my right shoulder, which is perfect because you've got a huge big clumpy area of gorse with a couple of trees, thick cover, little bit of a slope south facing into the sun, um, sheltered from the wind, um, sheltered from too many overflying birds um, so I've just been spending about five or ten minutes just looking in this area and I haven't found anything but I wanted to use this as um, a quick explanation of what you do when you find that perfect adder habitat so the next thing you absolutely need to have is some decent binoculars because adders are not big and their camouflage is excellent so once you find a really, really promising area like this, you've got to stop and take a little bit of time. If you just think you can walk past and look 10, 15, 20 feet into all of that cover and spot an adder, you won't. What you've got to do is stop, take a minute, take your rucksack off, get your binoculars out and scan really carefully. Scan the ideal spots, the spots in the sun with the cover, and you may well find just, you know, half buried uh, in the long grass, um, a small adder there, especially at this time of year, because early in the season like this, it's only the male adders that are starting to emerge. They come out first, the females come out a little bit later. Um, and so uh, you, haven't got, you haven't got all the uh, quantity of snakes around right now. 
um, but as I said before if you can find them if you can find the spot then it's a spot you can go back to and back to and back to and know that you'll find snakes there so this was very promising didn't turn out to be the place on we go just found this rather lovely uh, little natural seat a <laughs> little bench um, next to a silver birch tree uh, so I just thought I'd take a minute because I've been searching now for around about an hour and a half and I'm starting to get to that point which wildlife photographers will all know where you think what am I doing it's not gonna happen and you know this is where wildlife photography can be massively frustrating because I've been out in nature um, for a good say hour and a half and the camera has not even been out of the bag yet all I've done is search and search and search and walk and walk and walk and it's really easy to doubt yourself it's really easy to think oh I must be in the wrong place let's give up here and go somewhere else but you have to trust the process I have to rely even though I'm in an area that I haven't searched for Ada here before I have to know that I am doing all the things that I've done in other parts of the New Forest where I have found adder sites and photographed them successfully. For the purposes of this video today, I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of, of you guys. Um, if, you, if you're not familiar with adder and you're not familiar with searching for them. Um, so I've made myself do this in an area uh, that I don't know rather than just going to a known adder site where I can just walk up and go, oh look, there's some snakes, let's photograph them. Um, so I wanted that persistence um, and that field craft to be a big part of this video. Um, I know I'm in the right places, I know the conditions are right, there should be adders here somewhere, I just have to keep searching. Really easy to get down on yourself and give up and think, oh, sod this, let's go and get some lunch. But that is not how we get stuff done. So I'm gonna persevere and hopefully in the next half hour, hour however long it takes, we're gonna find some adders. Well, that's ended up being a bit of a tough day because after a couple more hours of searching, still no adders, I'm afraid, despite perfect conditions. I guess this is what we'd call uh, low percentage, high reward um, photography research. Um, it's hard to find um, creatures like this in these brief weather windows that we sometimes get very early in the season in February. You wonder if they're just not out yet after a few days of nice weather but with a few more days of nice weather they might be. Um, the problem is we don't tend to get those extended periods in Feb and what may happen now is that these unseasonably warm temperatures will probably disappear in a day or two and we'll go back to rainy cold grey uh, Britain in March kind of weather in which case it may be a few more weeks until I get a chance to come out and, uh, and try and find the adders again but it was worth doing, worth doing, because um, as I say, if you can find a, a hibernaculum site um, for adders, then that is absolute gold, because then uh, that's something you can return to year after year um, and have stand a fairly good chance of seeing adders very easily. So worth doing. Tell you what, let's nip back to the office and I'll show you some adder shots from the archive, because I feel like I owe you some actual adder photography as part of this vlog rather than just my failed uh, research. So. Let's go back to the office and we'll look at some pics. So that didn't quite go to plan yesterday, did it? Um, lots of searching and not a lot of finding of any adder, which is a shame, but that is how it goes sometimes. Um, I'm not disheartened by that at all. Uh, it's a lovely day again today. I'd be back out there today if I could, um, but sadly the real world has got in the way and I've got some other stuff I've got to get done. So let's take a look back through my archive at a few of my favorite adder images of the past uh, and show you what happens when everything goes right and you find your adders and you get the opportunity to take some pictures. Have a look at these.
So let's just remind ourselves of the five main things that uh, are useful to do in order to optimise your chances of uh, finding an adder uh, when you're out searching. Tip number one, go out searching on a sunny day. Um, adders want to uh, bask in the sunshine. You're far less likely to see them on a cloudy, overcast, grey, cold day. Um, and if it's raining, they certainly won't be out then. Tip number two is adders are primarily an edge of woodland creature. Um, they're not found out in very open areas um, because there isn't enough cover for them uh, from predators, um, primarily birds uh, like buzzard or crow or raven uh, who will quite happily make a, a snack of an adder. Um, so you'll find them along the edges of a woodland or uh, on a heathland area where there's lots of heavy cover, gorse bushes, bracken, that sort of thing. Um, those are the areas to search. Tip number three, when you've found the right habitat, is to then focus your search on south-facing slopes. Think about where the position of the sun is. Look along any slope um, that faces the sun that's got decent cover uh, within a few feet. And then you can hone your search in just on those sunlit edges of the cover within just a few feet of them. That's where you're most likely to find an adder on those little slopes. Tip number four is use binoculars once you're honed in on a, a promising area um, to do the final search because if you get too close, the vibration of your feet on the ground will scare the adder away. So don't rush in, don't get too close too soon. Use your binoculars um, to scan around, see if you can actually identify the animal um, in its uh, hiding place um, and then you can work from there with long lenses to photograph it without disturbing it and causing it to flee. Tip number five, the last one, is because you'll be searching an area with the sun at your back, you'll cast a shadow, especially if you're searching in the early morning, which is a good time to search for adder, but you'll cast a long shadow. What you need to try and do, and it's tricky, is avoid that shadow falling across the area that you're searching because adders uh, are prey to lots of bird species and so adders don't like a shadow passing over the top of them. They think it could be a crow or a buzzard coming to get them. And so they'll often uh, scurry back into cover once they feel a shadow passing overhead. So if you can manage to um, just walk at an angle that doesn't cast a long shadow over the area that you're trying to search with your binoculars, then you should hopefully ensure that the adder stays in place uh, so that you can see him and photograph him. I didn't want to end this video without talking about a little bit about the ethics of wildlife photography as it applies to adders. The first thing to say is that adders are a protected species in the UK, so it's illegal to harm uh, or kill an adder. There's a fairly sensible rule of thumb. Don't ever, ever try and pick them up. Um, only one of two things is going to happen and neither of those two things are good. Either you're going to get bitten and it's going to hurt like hell, or you're going to most likely uh, harm or injure or stress that animal in some way. So you can get surprisingly close to adders if you're very, very careful, but no photograph is ever worth disturbing uh, an animal or stressing it in any way, shape or form. And that especially goes for reptiles, it especially goes for adders. They're very sensitive. They're not interested in being aggressive to you unless you try and handle them. They will always try and move away from you. So just remember, your photograph comes second. The welfare of that animal always comes first. So I hope that was useful. Um, even though I failed on my quest this week, um, it was still great fun to be out there. And I hope that uh, some of the information that I've conveyed is useful and that your search is a little bit more fortunate than mine was this week. But anyway, take care. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. Um, and I'll see you soon for some more wildlife photography. In the meantime, take care, go safe.